Whoa, man. There was definitely something in this beetroot soup. I've never felt this strange in my life before, man. What is, what is going on? I'm trapped in some sort of an alien device. I, I gotta get out of here, man. Where's my RV? I need to take a nap. I feel like I've been away for a century, man. Is this even reality right now? Am I dreaming? What is going on? This is like some sort of crazy madhouse. We got men with salmon faces on it, giant plant beasts. Red Bob has never experienced anything like this, man. I need to get out of here as fast as possible. This has got to be some sort of a nightmare. There's severed heads over here and some sort of rotten pineapple. Is there anybody around here to help Red Bob? Hello? Hello? Is there anybody here? Anybody? Anybody? I, I don't know where I Holt. am right now. The name of the HIB. Hello, gentlemen. Uh, hi. Would you gentlemen be interested in maybe purchasing some beetroot soup? It's kind of fresh and like I made it myself. It's really tasty. I need a bit of gas money for my van. You see, like it's, uh, I, I got a van and it's run out of gas, but uh, yeah. Um, would you like some beetroot soup, sir? It's very tasty. Yes, yes, sure. Hit him, Scar. Whoa, man. You sold many, many beetroot. I sold many, many beetroots. Yeah, and now you're really tired and you I'm wanna go really home to your tired, man. Go to your RV and sleep. I'm going to my RV to sleep, man. And I need some All gas right. money from a van. Yeah, yeah. Get going. All fine. Good night. Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the interwebs. This is Ren Diggin' in Nauga coming at you in another Minecraft episode for ROM, the Hermitcraft server. Welcome back, my fellow hippies from all over the world, to our peaceful hippie commune, where in just a few hours from now, we are going to be launching Operation Retrieve the Time Machine and triggering the great RV distraction prank all over Area 77. Ooh, baby, things are really starting to uh, take off around here. You see what I did there with the, uh, the takeoff and the flying RV? <sighs> Nonetheless, Green's giant RV of doom has lifted off and is now primed to launch, well, another RV <laughs> when Impulse's countdown timer hits zero. Now, it would be silly of us to assume that Doc and Scar over at Area 77 are not at least somewhat aware of what is about to go down here. They've read their comments, they've seen the Reddit, and no doubt they are preparing for the final attack of the hippies. That means we've got one last chance to draw their attention away from Area 77 before before the baby RV launches. And what better way to distract a government than with a very loud, very massive hippie music festival. <laughs> Welcome my friends to Hermitstock 2019. So here's the plan. I've set up this magnificent music festival stage outside of Shroomtown. And once we've got a decent crowd gathered here, we're gonna crank the music up to 11 and hopefully get Doc and Scar to come and join the festivities of peace and love. I mean, who can resist a good old fashioned muddy music festival, am I right? Now we're gonna have to get a little bit technical to make all of this happen today, guys, because well, every good festival needs a decent crowd. So first things first, we need to get us some revelers here at the front of the stage. This is gonna give us the chance to use the power of music and love to perhaps re-educate some angry pillagers into peace-loving hippies who will then become the citizens of Shroomtown after they've had a really great time at the music festival. You know what guys? This might just be crazy enough to work. Now pillagers are very interesting mobs in Minecraft indeed my friends because they are one of the few aggressive mobs in the game that have a weapon. As you can see they are currently hedgehogging me like nobody's business with their crossbows and currently in Minecraft 1.14 a pillager's crossbow has durability. That means if a pillager shoots its crossbow enough times, the crossbow will actually break, leaving the once very angry pillager a weaponless mob that cannot do any damage. Using that mechanic, 
we can actually turn pillages into pseudo villages and thus allowing us to populate Shroomtown with a bunch of hip pillages. Pretty cool, right? Now, the original plan to populate Shroomtown with hip pillagers was to capture and name tag some naturally spawning pillager patrols. However, over the last few weeks or so, Green and I have not managed to see a single pillager spawn out here. It's actually been pretty frustrating. So I've taken matters into my own hands. And luckily for us, there is a pillager stronghold just outside of Hermitville. And a couple of days ago, I came out to the stronghold to lure a whole bunch of pillagers back to the Hermitville stock stage. Unfortunately, it took me many hours to do this, guys, because it was quite a long journey to lure those pillagers back to the hippie commune. And on the way, they were constantly shooting each other in the back, killing each other and drowning and getting stuck. But after a couple of hours of grind, I've now managed to capture a bunch of pillagers just underneath the grounds of the main stage over here. And as you can see, we've got about 10 pillagers out here waiting for Hermit Stock 2019 to start and for their re-education to begin. Now comes the interesting bit, my dudes. Finding a way to break these pillagers crossbows. And for that, we're gonna need a couple of DJs on the stage. The next step in our re-education program is to give our pillagers something to shoot at. And that has brought us all the way back to Hermitville. Rain Dog's Breeding Pit, coming soon. Hmm, yes, this was a shop that I was originally going to set up when Hermitville first began a couple of months ago. The plan was to sell villagers to the hermits moving out here. And uh, one day Stress Monster and I captured a whole bunch of villagers and put Stress Monster faces and Rain Dog faces on them. And well, ever since then, these unfortunate villagers have been trapped inside of this building for many months now. However, a couple of days ago, live on stream, Green and I managed to transport a few of those villagers villagers over to Shroomtown and those villagers are going to become our DJs on the Hermitstock stage if I can get them up there without dying of course. Hey villager stress monster are you okay in there? She doesn't look very happy my friends she's been chilling inside of her new home in Shroomtown for a couple of days now not very impressed with me I'm not gonna lie stress I'm so sorry for leaving you inside of the breeding pit for so long I've also got a Ren Dog uh, villager over here in Grian's house. Look at him, ready to wow the crowds with some serious beats, baby. Gonna be awesome. Uh, right, we gotta find a way to get these villagers onto the Hermit Stock stage over there inside of their DJ booths. I guess minecarts and rails are the way to go. My goodness, what a crazy project, my dudes. What has my life become? Anyway, I've just laid down the delivery rails for DJ Ren and Stress, and these should bring them directly into their DJ booths over here so they can start spinning some records and we can get this festival up and running. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know if this is going to work out, though, because villagers are very difficult to control at the best of times. Let's begin with villager Ren Dog, I think. We don't want anything bad to happen to stress right we've already put it through too much already villager rain dog please get in the minecart please get in the minecart oh i hit him over there that's no good all right there we go dj ren i hope you've got your record collection ready it is time to go rock out baby also we're probably gonna have to add another rail over there beautiful there we go come on dj ren you you got this baby you got this let's get you all the way into your dj booths you can hear the the screaming of the crowd they're super excited our first celebrity DJ Rip. That slight mishap, my friends, has just added about two hours to the production of this video. I'm such an idiot. Of course he wasn't going to be able to go down here. He bumped his head and took a massive knock to the face. And considering I smacked him with my sword, he just instantly died. Oh man, why Minecraft? Why? DJ Stress, I've got some disturbing news. DJ Rendog may or may not have died on the way to Hermitstock 2019. I'm gonna try and make sure the same thing doesn't happen to you. <laughs> please, please, can we at least get one DJ on the stage today, guys? And she's off. Hopefully she'll get into a DJ booth okay. I didn't smack her the way that I smacked Ren, so she should have landed perfectly underneath the dispenser. Yes, beautiful. We've got our first DJ on the stage, guys, although we've already had a pretty brutal fatality at this festival, but you know, that's how festivals go sometimes. Sigh. 
an hour or so of pain later, my dudes, and DJ Stress and Ren are in their booths, ready to blast some tunes here at Hermit Stock 2019. Oh man, we're getting so close to starting our hippie festival over here, guys. Next step is going to be to unleash these pillages onto the dance floor and they're gonna start shooting their arrows at DJ Ren and DJ Stress. Eventually, their crossbows are gonna break and we're gonna have a crowd of hip pillages. Well, that's the plan anyway. Now, the only way our crazy plan to break these hip pillages crossbows is gonna work, my friends, is if our two DJs stay alive during the process. These pillages are gonna shoot hundreds of arrows at them and I wanna make sure that they definitely don't die. So take a look at this. I've prepared a bunch of splash potions of healing and a set of diamond armor for each of the DJs. This set has got two lots of projectile protection 4 on it and two lots of protection 4 on it. Now in Minecraft 1.14 you can actually dispense armor onto villagers even though you won't see the villagers wearing the armor and that's why I've got this dispenser set up above both of the DJs. So I think we could probably try the first one here with DJ Stress if we can get her out of her minecart right now. There we go. There we go. Oh she took a little bit of damage there that's okay uh, she's still alive now take a look at this let's put on a diamond helmet for her that should dispense on top of her no that did not actually work interesting oh i know why she can't wear the helmet i'm such an idiot it's because the villagers got a stress head on right now and so <laughs> she can't actually wear a helmet so unfortunately we won't have diamond helmets on our djs but they will have chest plates leggings and boots which i hope is going to be enough for them let's Let's have a look. Can we put these bits of armor on DJ Ren from the top? Yep, there we go. That's the chest plate, the leggings, and the boots. Beautiful. Oh man, can you guys feel the festival vibe starting to kick in? We're getting very close to starting the party out here. Last thing that we need to do is get some splash potions of healing above our DJs. And you know what? They both took some damage getting here. So I think I'm going to give them a quick splash here just to make sure that they're at 100% health. And there we go. Our DJs are ready to spin them records, baby. Now, of course, every good festival needs a good host. Am I right, guys? And luckily for us, Ren Bob has made his way back from wherever the heck he's been for the last couple of weeks. He's currently napping in the RV, but I'm going to hand over the mic to Ren Bob in a moment after we test our re-education system here. So I think the last thing that we need to do is let one of these hippillagers out and see if they will start to target our villagers up here, right? Come on, you can get out of there. You know you can. There we go. Okay, so we've got our very first crowd member on the stage. Okay, he's still targeting us, but if we go to the back of the stage over here, it looks like he might have started to shoot at DJ Ren. And look at this, guys. We have got a little bit of a trick going on over here. We have got a trap door directly on top of the block in front of the villager. And that means when the pillagers shoot up at the DJs, they're not going to hit the, the DJs as often as they might if that trap door wasn't over there. In my testing, it looks like about 70% of the arrows go into the trap door and every now and then an arrow will in fact hit the DJ in the face but guys that is how we are going to be re-educating our hip pillagers over here we're going to be firing up our music festival Ren Bob's going to take the mic he's going to be hosting all of these pillagers are going to start shooting at the DJs when the music starts and hopefully by the end of today we will have a population of hip pillagers for Shroomtown <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on, man? Hello, everybody. My name is Ren Bob. I'm your host for Hermit Stock 2019, man. E ex excuse me, madam. C could you please stop throwing stuff onto the stage, man? This is a festival about love and peace, and yeah, we've got to try to keep the aggression down, guys. Uh, everybody, please, man. This aggression will not stand, man. Okay, it looks like we got a pretty lively crowd over here. They really want to hear the music. So without any further ado, everybody, welcome to Hermit Stock 2019. Here are your DJs, DJ Randog and DJ Stress Monster. Peace and love, everybody. And yeah, please stop throwing stuff on the stage, guys. It's kind of rude and you know, DJs got a lot of work to do. They need to get a bit of gas. It's the good times. 
dressed in black, remember that with the bass, changing time and space, staying on track. Uh, standing next to me, DOC. See, he's done this before, but not me. Uh, Creating worlds with my friends. 7 7 is the area you can't get in. Alien yeah. cages, extraterrestrials can't find us with two undetectable. Uh, uh, you better watch out for this. Me and Doc MC, black shades and experiments. If you can find our base, better watch your back. It's calling Doc MC up on Hermitcraft. Doc the Thinker now is under the light. Another time set. Time's like a fine web. Uh-huh. Redstone used in the world is skewed. Uh-huh. You've seen the room, but time's up. Well, Cyber Dogs, Boom. despite Futurist numerous casualties in the crowd, <laughs> I think it's safe to say that Hermit Stock 2019 was an absolutely amazing success. Good job, DJ Ren and Stress Monster. Look at this, guys. It actually worked. I can't believe it, man. Good thing I brought an insane amount of pillagers over here. I think we had about 12 or 13 pillagers trapped in the mosh pit, and only four have survived. Say hello to Nebula, Stardust, Apollo Nebula, I think they're probably brothers or sisters, Sally Silkworm, and the notorious Saturn Glow. They've put their crossbows down, they have embraced the ways of peace and love, and they can now find a home in Shroomtown. This is so freaking awesome, Cyber Dogs. Although I gotta say, one of the most painful projects that I've ever done. Whoa, was Sally Silkworm just checking out my butt? In other amazing new Cyber Diggity Dogs, take a look at what is stashed inside of this giant mushroom. You Ren Bob fans out there should be able to recognize it. Yes, it's the nuclear reactor that Ren Bob cleaned up from underneath Skara during the Build War. And my friends, Green and I, managed to infiltrate Area 77 a few days ago with the help of False Symmetry. And we managed to steal the nuclear reactor back. Very very good news for Ren Bob, who's still recovering from the festival. But my dudes, we had some epic laughs infiltrating Area 77. Take a look at this. Ren, I gotta yes. show you. Come over here. Ooh. I don't know if you've seen this, but someone who wants to be anonymous, aka Cubfan135, right. left us a little note in here. It's uh, a music disc and a map. And basically he said, can you give me loads of diamonds and I will tell you where the time machine is. That's okay. basically what it... I don't want to give him lots of diamonds, but okay. I did see over in Falsewell that Falsey is dishing out uh, some tours of actual Area 77. Right. So I'm thinking instead of giving Cub loads of diamonds, we could go on the tour and see if we can just find your reactor and my time machine by ourselves and save ourselves a bit of the blue stuff, you know? That does sound like a plan. I mean, there's... Okay, we just wander in there, you know? It's, oh, yeah. It's, uh... I'm glad you said that because I've created some masterpieces. I've got us a couple of disguises so that they, will, they won't know hmm. who it is. Grian, what <laughs> the heck is this? Oh, let me take my armor off. Let me take my armor off. <laughs> We're tourists, dude. Tourists? We're tourists. <laughs> Oh, we got the Hawaiian shirts going on and the white yeah, socks. Got, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I, we got the camera. You got the suspenders. Oh, wait. You had suspenders anyway. Though. <laughs> yeah. What's on my face, though, dude? What is it's that? Like a, it's like a fake mustache. and It's like the glasses with the big fake nose and the mustache and everything. Oh, Trust me. Maybe we should uh, be like other people or something. Maybe uh, British tourists. Perhaps? Well, I, my accents aren't very good, so I, could, I don't think I can do that very convincingly. I, I can do, okay. I can do like a proper upper class British person, like, oh, hello, Ren, how's, how's it going? Oh. You know, you know. Oh, hello, Alfred. Do you want to be? Uh, Alfred? You want to be Alfred? I'll, I'll, oh yeah, I'll be, I'll be Alfred. I'll be okay. Alf Alfred Greensworth. Alfred Ooh, Greensworth. I like it. And, uh, I shall be um, Nigel Renfeather. Yes. <laughs> Nigel Renfeather. We're here for a tour. Dude, this is gonna work, I, I think. <laughs> the stupidest thing we've ever done. Uh, Falsey, can we get one of those Area 77 tours if you're free? Awesome. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna sell this one. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we just have to run with it and hope it works. Okay, she's there. Alfred, tally-ho, <laughs> it's tour time. <laughs> <laughs> Toodle 
Pip. Oh, this is awful. Oh, hello, Hi. madam. Oh. Uh, hello, false symmetry. Yes, How are you it's doing? a fetching name, I must say, Alfred. Mm. Very fetching indeed. Mm. I'm, I'm good. What, what are you guys dressed up for? What? A, a fancy dress? Not dressed. Hall not Halloween? Dressed. I yeah. am Alfred Greensworth. And oh, we, we, okay. And this is my, my chum. Hello. Uh, Nigel. Nigel Renfeather. We're here for the tour. Yes. Oh. We've heard that it's oh. smashing. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Top notch. Okay, well, uh, tours are 25 diamonds each, and um, we can get it right away. That is a little bit steep, I must say, Alfred. I mean, I was hoping to get a scone later this afternoon, but... Uh, Up, upper class, Ren, we have money. We have oh. money. Oh, right, oh, yes. Um, oh, that that is very, very cheap, I must say, Miss yeah, False very cheap, Symmetry. Very, very, very cheap, cheap indeed. Can, Here can you go. It's, it's yes. very reasonable. Okay. I yes, left my you. wallet at home, uh, oh. Nigel. Right. Uh, that's okay. I've I, I've got you. I've got you, Alfred. Don't worry. Well, you've don't got worry. plenty of diamonds. So oh yeah, I've I got, don't see an issue there. I've got far many <laughs> where those came from. I mean, that's just a drop in the ocean in my wealth. Well, <laughs> uh, right. Are we ready uh, to go? <clears throat> yes. Yeah. 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 Lead the cool. way, uh, please. Lead the way. Yeah. Follow me, guys. We're going uh, straight through the entrance. Here we are, okay. Nigel, at the at the area seventy-seven. Very excited. Yes. Is this Disney World? Oh, right. Come on in, guys. Okay. That's it. Is, just wait. Is wait. This there. An official tour. Is it's, is it's very official? official. Yes. Are those Can giant convert. lollipops? We could get some for the children, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Right, guys. Through here. Through here. That we can't. We can't get through that side. So uh, this head is some through. magnificent architecture. This I way. must say, I'm Ooh. quite impressed. Look. Oh. No, no, no. What, what? Don't press that. Oh. Don't... What have you done, Alfred? <laughs> there was a button. Tally ho, yeah, chap. I, I, I say there was, a, there was a button, my my fellow. I right. see. Please, Did please you bring don't your touch camera? anything, guys. Did you bring oh, your yes. camera apparatus? We need to take some pictures of this, I think. It's, it's right. fabulous. Well, watch out for the, uh, watch out. the, the watch residents. Out. Uh, just a bit of jousting. Oh, just there we go. Oh. Okay. oh, fantastic shot. Brilliant. Oh. That was a good shot, right. eh? Guys, what keep up, deep... keep up, keep keep straight. Oh, no, no, no. This, this way, this oh, way. I mean, oh. Nigel, Nigel, uh, yes. this way. Sorry, sorry, yes. I hope you're taking some fabulous pictures. Mm, I am, I'm taking plenty. Indeed, okay, a couple so... for the mantelpiece. Is is there uh, uh, perhaps a good look at a, a, a small white box and a, a small green glass object, I, swear, yes. I, I say? We've heard word um... of a wonderful artifact from um, ancient times. Yes. Red, 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 red. Twelve o'clock, twelve o'clock. Okay, yep, yep. Take some pictures. I'm F2ing. Right, right. Uh, Be careful of the say... uh, fighter planes nearby. Uh, oh, don't yes. touch those. Oh, those are marvelous pieces of British engineering. Brilliant. <laughs> Dude, that's that's that's, the, that's Red Bob's <laughs> nuclear reactor. I need that. Yeah, yeah. I need that. Please, you uh, go watch my it. back. <laughs> you go for it. Uh, can you show me this this delightful hangar over here? Yes. Yes. Um, oh, please. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go up there, uh, Ren. That's that's. Uh, that's Sorry. Not, don't touch that. What's that? Eyes up. Eyes up. What, what's that? Oh. Oh. Okay. We, we're gonna get in trouble, guys. This is not. This is not a good thing. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna go from the bottom up. I think. Oh, guys, you're gonna get me. You're gonna get me fired. Okay. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. There we go. Oh yes. Beautiful. Oh, uh, okay, well, <clears throat> sorry about that tour guide. I, I just wanted a memento for my mantelpiece, if that's okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Alfred, I must say, I've quite enjoyed this tour so far. It's been spectacular. Uh, 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 I say, uh, at nine o'clock, there, there, oh. there is a slight issue. Yes. Uh, oh, that is a very aggressive time, looking guard. Tour's over. Tour guide, come back. <laughs> Boss. Tally ho. Tally ho. No, I, I don't have my. I don't have my. No. Put no. on your wings, Alfred. I'm trying. Get out of there. Get out of here. You know, I think uh, after after we're done being hippies, Ren, we we just got to become British gentlemen. That's yes. that's our next thing. That's I our agree. next thing. We're gonna make a big we're gonna make a big castle and we we're gonna ride horses and all that sort of that stuff. That sounds beautiful. That was really <laughs> successful, though. Look at this. It's the nuclear reactor. You I got you the whole thing. You might have got thing. the reactor back, but yeah. I didn't get my time. We didn't get anywhere near my time machine. Yeah. Of course, Doc has to log in the second we get anywhere close. Of course, close. I got some. I got some good screenshots though. So yeah, I, I, I didn't actually get that many good yeah. ones. <laughs> but 
<laughs> my camera was snapping away, my dude. I think we've got some good info out of this. Nice. Right. You gotta hide that thing. They're just gonna come and get that snack that straight back, you know? Yeah, They're gonna snatch good, that straight back. That's a good idea. I, I think I'm gonna hide it in a shroom, man. Nobody nobody suspects of giant shroom, right? Uh maybe? <laughs> that's a terrible hiding place. <laughs> that's a terrible hiding place. So I think it's safe to say that Green and I probably need to work on our British tourist accents. That was very painful to edit for you guys, but I do hope you enjoyed the derps. Very happy that we managed to steal back Ren Bob's reactor. Very good news indeed. In other good news, the Hippillagers have arrived in Shroomtown. Well, I've boated them all across and uh, I just worked to secure the place so they can't get out. We've got fences all the way around here and of course a couple of fence gates with the pressure plate to get in and out on each side. And all we need to do now is let loose the Hippillagers of War, or should I say the Hippillagers of Peace, because they have now arrived in their brand new home. They look a little bit confused. They don't really know what to do or where to go. I mean, they're not very smart, to be honest with you. They can barely speak. They just sort of moan in a lot. Uh, but I guess the good thing about a Hippillager is that it's not really a villager. So even if there are hostile mobs in Shroomtown, they're not going to attack them. So they're pretty safe and happy. And look at them. They're already starting to scatter around and look around. Yeah, Sally, these, these shrooms are yours. You can do with them what you will. Also, uh, seriously, uh, please stop looking at my butt. Oh, I see what you're doing there, Cyberdogs. You think that's the end of the episode. Well, guess what? You're wrong. There's one more extremely important thing for us to do in today's episode. What all of this hippie commune business has been about. For today, my friends, we steal back Grian's time machine. Take a look at this. Hippies, it is a launch day mark two. Um, yes. I don't know if you've actually seen, but uh, I've created a mini RV poking out of the belly of the giant RV. It's very disturbing, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, G. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... I thought I, that's why I added a pair of angry eyes to make it to scare the enemy, you know? It is. It's very weird. It's hideous. <laughs> I no, it. come on, I think it's kind of cute. Anyway, so th <laughs> the reason you're here is I actually need your help. So the RV coming out of the RV is... Uh, that's really weird. RV is, is leaving the other RV. <laughs> I actually need your help because that's only one part of it. I need to cover Area 77 in bone meal, in flowers, as a flower power prank. But you've seen how big this area is. Yeah. I need a lot of manpower oh, to yeah. make this happen. So are you guys are you guys ready to help me out with this one? Oh yeah. We wow, got you, bro. Baby. We got you. <laughs> oh sweet. Okay. And then this should give us sufficient distraction to then go down into the tunnel system, make our way to the time machine, and get it the heck out of there. <laughs> that's the Perfect. that's the plan anyway. Nice. Alright. Is so, this thing gonna uh, work? Impulse. Yeah, it's a 50-50 chance. I, I haven't <laughs> tested it because the problem with this is it's a very complicated uh, redstone machine. And uh, you can't really test it, because if you test it, it leaves the building. Right. So, I give it a 50-50. Impulse, would you be able to set the timer back to a, a, a nine-second countdown? Yep, let's do it. I'll get over there and set it right now. I'm ready for the countdown. I'm, Good luck, boys. I'm really scared. I'm super scared. <laughs> I, I'm, okay, the, the longer that we get, the closer we get to launch, the more convinced I am it's like 90% fail rate. Just... <laughs> Launch the countdown. I can't. I can't okay. bear it anymore. All right, this here we is go. a complicated machine. I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> All right, eight, seven, <laughs> six, <laughs> five, fingers crossed. Four, boys. Three, four, three, two, two, one. one. Unleash and the hounds. <laughs> go. Is it gonna work? Um, and there's lag. Is no? it moving? Did this just lag? <laughs> oh no! Did it, was that it? Uh, Is it? I I think we just lagged the <laughs> server to oh, death. Man. <laughs> uh, oh, it did move. We well, moved a little bit. Does that count? It was a hundred hundred percent fail rate. Right, I um sorry about that. It's uh <laughs> I've rebuilt it <laughs> again. Uh, I hope yeah. it works. Uh, I don't really understand how this thing works, so I don't know what I did wrong, and I also don't know if I did it right this time. 
So right. Start, start the one. countdown. Let's do it again. I got I'm, I'm faith about in this one. I got about seven. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it seventy thirty on a fail. So right, let's <laughs> let's go for it. Are you ready? Okay. Oh, it's going. Yeah, it's going. We're at six. Six. Five, oh jeez. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. <laughs> one. Uh, and. Fire Come killer. on, baby. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Yes. It's moving. Looking good so far. Looking looking good so far. Yes. Yes. It's moving, it's dude. It's, it's working. working. <laughs> Success. <laughs> oh, oh that is a beautiful um, sight. That is oh. epic. The RV has oh, given birth. Jesus. It's a wow. girl. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Go forth and populate, little one. Oh, uh, it was, it was worth it. It was worth it. Uh, this is how you've got to travel now as Ren Bob, Ren. Like, this is how Ren Bob's actually going to fly around, right? Wow, it's going to be a slow going, but... <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Man, that is epic. Look at it go. Oh, well, man, I mean, we've got so enough time to plant some flowers now, right? I mean, we, yes. we need to get okay, this yeah, place yeah, yeah. Oh, far, flowered yeah, up. Yeah, we need to... We need to get to it. Okay, I've got um, some invisibility potions for everyone so that okay. if uh, Doc and Scar log on, we are all good. So invisibility potion up each. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. I got some supplies then, here too. Yep, yeah, flowers, bone meal. Plenty of bone meal. Taking the invis. Okay. Getting the bone blocks. Oh, we gotta RV's our, still uh, not... Armor oh, Ren. Oh. Guess, you'll never guess what's there. Oh, what there's a villages. raid. Unbelievable. <laughs> I don't want to Just talk about when you it. Don't want them. C can we plant some? Fl I don't want to look, dude. I this upsets me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the RV is about to cross into Area 77, and then the planting begins. We're getting close. He's, he's gonna go straight into <laughs> Scar's Cliffs. I I don't think it's gonna do any damage, but. This is going to be probably the most confusing part for them, just seeing a random RV crashed into the side of their, into the side of their cliffs. <laughs> Come on, little RV, you can do it. There we go. It's done. It's it's. There we go. Oh, there it's it stopped. is. Oh, Perfect. Oh, that's <laughs> such a good monument. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I hope they keep that there forever. It's beautiful. <laughs> I think we have successfully flower powered this place. <laughs> I would say so. Look at this. It's covered. It it's is beautiful. Drenched. Boys. It's drenched in flowers. It's, it's ridiculous how many flowers there are. I think bone meal wasn't even the way to go. It's just these tall mm -hmm. flowers. That uh -huh. was the way to go. Yeah. We still bone mealed everything, but look at this. <laughs> it's crazy. And I mean, we have literally flowered every nook and cranny of Area yeah, 77. Every single. Every block of this place is flowered to the max. <laughs> it's beautiful. <sighs> right, well, oh, this man. should keep them sufficiently busy. Yes. So that we can go into the tunnels. Shall we head over to the tunnels right now? Yes. I mean, I th so. we've only got a couple minutes, really. They're going to come and have a look. Yeah. And so we better get going. In we go. Who's going to flush first? Ren, I'll go. You go down. Let me, I'm going to flush oh. you. Oh, oh. There we go. Impulse, I took you, one for the I'll team. give you the honor of flushing me. All right. See you later. Whoop. <laughs> oh man, that means I gotta flush myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Oh, look come at this. On. And the doors open. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Did they find it? Possibly, oh, unless one no. of you guys went in here. No, no but it I looks like been. the bamboozle might have worked. Yeah, this is absolutely fine, my yeah. dudes, because I haven't shown this on camera, but this is the fake tunnel from the very, very start. I made a fake redstone door, I made a fake tunnel with a bit of a bamboozle. So if they came looking for our tunnels, this is all they were going to find. Beautiful. <laughs> Perfect. And just just to rub salt in the wound that the actual tunnels have been, like, oh. literally, they're just here, and I didn't make a fancy door. It's just walk in. <laughs> <laughs> just do some digging. There we go. Nice. Oh, man, they're both online right now. So. Oh my goodness! Okay. Do we, we still move. go for it? Yeah, oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we go for it. Even. We don't have time to mess around, boys. Come on. Mm -hmm. This is a long tunnel yeah. to run down. I just, we just gotta hope that the flowers is gonna keep them interested for long enough. Oh yeah. But we are in 77 right now, but we just need to make sure if we start seeing then their names, we need to start crouching. Okay. Okay. I've, oh, I've, yeah, I got it. I got okay. it. I got the map. Do, I got everything you know we go? need to fix the time machine. Yeah, kind of. Uh, right. We need to, yeah, I made this tunnel. This is the correct tunnel. The one you made goes to not where the time machine is. This one goes, it's, it's quite a long tunnel. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Hold those pinkies down, boys. Oh, man, oh. yeah. It's just a pinky exercise right here. <laughs> Needs to be. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <pretty> so cool. <laughs> I think they're moving about. 
It looks like they are a little bit. Oh no. Oh what jeez. Was that? <laughs> what that was, was that? That wasn't one of us. No. Right? No? No. Dude, we didn't trip a that... tripwire trap or something, did we? That was them, right? What so. was that? Okay, so Scar's, like a... Scar's still down there. Just, we need to bide our time. Okay. So this is the end of the tunnel. I've already broken through here, and this goes to exactly... Oh my goodness. Okay. That's definitely not yeah. us. <laughs> oh. I can't crouch. I need to access my inventory. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it. Here, gonna we'll risk stand it. in front of you. They won't see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh no. Is this a we good idea? Through? They're pretty close. They are pretty I mean, close. We heard theirs. They're gonna hear ours. Well, they, gonna... they might think it's theirs, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Can you see them? Can you see them? Have they left? Yeah. I don't see any name oh, tags yeah. anymore. Oh no, uh, he's gone. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, uh, I see his name tag going up and down. Oh. Oh, oh he's trying to fly. Bless him. I think he's trying to fly. Wait. It might be good to time it. Hmm. We, gotta be, we, gotta be, we just gotta be patient. Okay. 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 We gotta bide our time. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. He's, he's got. Yep. He's okay, up. I see Doc. Oh. He's got. They might have found the flowers now. Yeah, they're out of there. Let's, let's just wait a second. Oh, they're, they're right on top of us. Let's just wait until they go more towards the other end of Area 77, just to be safe. If... I tell you, if we get caught now, the time machine's gonna get moved, and then we're gonna have to go through this whole thing again. Yes. Oh, no way. Okay, his name's disappeared. They're okay, definitely they're checking off. out the flowers. Yeah, they're flying go. off. Okay, oh my goodness. Grim, uh, why the TNT? Why can't we use pickaxes, <laughs> man? Because TNT is more dramatic. <laughs> True. Oh, man. Okay. All right, layers, this is going. All right, we're using pickaxes. <laughs> I don't know how deep this goes. Here we go. It's gotta be this one, right? Okay. Oh, it's there. Okay, I'm definitely using TNT for dramatic effect. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold me, I impulse. TNT. We're doing this properly. There we go. Oh, go. We're in. oh here we go. Right. We're in. Dang, we're in. A hole. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh my, gosh, we're in. oh my goodness. Careful. Careful. Oh. I I don't really know where we are. Hold on. Let me get this map. This map's gonna be useless. We're underground. Wow, this yeah, is right. absolutely well, magnificent, in. though. Yeah, this, this is awesome. Jeez. Amazing. I do not see them, so we're still good. I'm scanning like crazy. There's Jelly. Hey, Jelly. Hi. Hey, Jelly. Don't worry jelly about three. us. We're what fine. What happened to Jelly 2 and Jelly 1? They died. Rip. What have they got in here? There's a house. Dude, there's a house in here. It's straight up like a house. What? They got a house yeah. in here. Oh, my Time goodness. machine. Oh, what? Time machine. I just looked oh, straight at wow. it. That's it. Wait, what's attached to it? Why is there tubes attached to it? Um, I just saw a villager. Oh my, is villager green? Wait a minute, what? really? Yeah, straight up, villager green just came out straight out of our house. Oh, there he's he is. right there. They I, built him his I'll own habitat. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I was so preoccupied with getting the time machine, I completely forgot that they took villager green. Oh my gosh. Well, he looks really happy um, in there. I mean, he's got a better house than most hermits in there, to be honest. How do we open this door? Um. TNT, probably? <laughs> no, no, no. I think, I think we play it safe. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Oh, he's living the, he's living the high life oh, in yeah. here. Yeah. Where'd he go? Like a mansion. He's definitely Village not Grin. complaining. Hello. Oh, he's, wow. he's out here, you know, picking oh. flowers and stuff. I'm kind of jealous. I, can I get a house like this? Oh, please. <laughs> To be honest with you, Villager Green's mm. never particularly had a nice house to live in. He was living in the tiny little shed at the build-off, and then he was mm -hmm. living inside the time machine. This is probably the best place he's ever lived. These guys have been treating him nice. Yeah, yeah. he's very happy. It looks like he's put on some weight, like he's been eating healthy. He's even got yeah, a pool, I, man. A I'm take a dip down there, man. Food. Hmm. Guys, I think I'm just going to leave him here. I, I don't really want to try and get him in the time machine, because moving villages is a pain, I think. I think he's cool here. Yeah, he, he's I using he's the cool. loo right now. Let's give him some privacy. Yeah, I mean, he's I mean, just uh, leaving. <laughs> dude, look at it. it. It's beautiful. What oh, have they man. done to it as well? They've like linked it up to. Look at that. How awesome is that? It's like some wiring up to it. It's, it's yeah. turned into a monstrosity. I mean, do we even want to turn this thing on? I don't know. It's... I, I've worked too hard to get this, <laughs> this stupid time machine back. Let's, how, let's get inside get it. I, I don't even know how we get in. Um, <laughs> uh, this is how. There we school. go. That works. That works. <laughs> All right. Let me quickly repair yeah. this thing. 
Um, oh, they've got a beacon at the top. There's definitely some electromagnetic stuff going on around here. I'm not feeling yeah. very good in here. I'm not yeah, gonna lie. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Impulse. Maybe we up. should just leave Green to his toys, man. I don't know. No, if this no, is no, a, no. A we'll be fine. Idea. I've done this. I've uh, done this a hundred times. Are you sure? I mean, there's barely room for us in here. Yeah. I, it's a bit of a uh, squeeze. I'll be honest, I don't remember what I put on this item frame. I'm sure Are there any matter. ablution facilities um, on this thing? I, I'm kind of busting right now. I, I, right. I have a torch. Does that help? Uh, Press the buttons. Wait a minute. the lever. And we turn three times. One. Oh my gosh. Two. Uh, wait. Is, this gonna work? Three. Is there an exit? Is there an exit? Let me out. Let me out. 